another episode of the indian captains uh, i know you must be thinking uh, aman and shoaib have disappeared uh, from the youtube industry uh, not really so uh, we've been just caught up with a lot of work but uh, welcome back to a brand new episode uh, and uh, as you see on the screen uh, we have a new series coming up uh, which is the aviation roundup uh, aman how do you feel uh, to be back on screen and uh, uh, doing our first uh, video together after a long time Uh, I got to be honest with you, Shoaib. Uh, it's definitely been quite some time. I know we have both been busy in our exams and all these kind of things. But yeah, definitely back and uh, just hope to connect with everyone again. So yeah, absolutely. I think uh, it's been a a slightly longer break than usual, yeah. but guys, uh, we have a good amount of content coming your way. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we plan to you know give you a quick summary of what's happening in the industry. A lot has actually been happening. a uh, lot of positives coming up and uh, that's where we come back with the aviation roundup uh, where every month we'll be trying to give you some exciting news what's happening in the industry what you need to do your goals uh, when to take take it forward so stay tuned and let's just take it from here the first and foremost thing uh, aman how yeah. do you think uh, air india tata is it a match made in heaven okay so uh, it's definitely something that i guess a lot of us wanted to happen uh, you know tata being the big people that they are and air india one of the prominent names you know it was going to a lot of depth and all so we're just hoping that you know air india can go back to you know the once glorious airline that it was you know so i'm glad you know that tata finally got i mean took over air india and i guess it happened on jan 27th right jan 27th that's, was when the takeover happened that's right i mean i think the talks were there for a quite long time uh, there were a lot of yeah. discussion as to we take in over uh, apparently it's about 15000 crores of debts that have been you know wiped off uh, uh, with this deal and that's massive but uh, yeah. big news the aviation industry yeah. uh, a big you know superpower like tata coming in and uh, yeah so with the with the deal uh, it's the air india air india express which is doing really well for them and uh, 50% of the air india sats is part of the deal uh, but uh, going straight on to that uh, tata has been uh, doing so much in terms of uh, complete overhaul uh, we've heard a lot of employees being uh, you know uh, in terms yeah. of the vr is very recently yeah. uh, so i just there's, there's been a lot of changes i i do agree there's been a lot of changes in the whole management systems the you know they have taken more stricter rules with the cabin crew you know they put in new rules i guess the tata really wants to make a big change you know make it there than it was you know um, so yeah i mean they are trying to do what all they can you know to i guess revive the airline such a important uh, milestone here again uh, especially for the pilots who have been waiting uh, us and the people around us as well yeah. who are all in the market trying to look for opportunities i think a uh, couple of months back i think it's about a month ago we had go air go first sorry uh, mm-hmm. coming air uh, recruitment uh, for cpl holders that yeah. was after you know but yeah there was a lot of speculation we're not going to we're not going to touch upon that but yeah, yeah. a lot of people who applied for that and now comes air india with their 320 um uh, vacancy Wait, and okay. this uh, cpl with zero hours of experience on 73 uh, on 320 type and uh, it's it's definitely the chance now you know to uh, give it a chance but also they had a couple of um, restrictions uh, with mm-hmm. regards to the age 30 overall air india is getting a very new look uh, yeah. they're changing a lot of uh, so what else you have aman to share with these guys i think we've covered air india anything uh, exciting coming in well uh, there is a new player in the market i think a lot of people will be excited to know that and it's nonetheless but akasha you know a sudden entry into the aviation market especially right after covid you know a lot of people did not expect it because aviation industry was not doing good during covid because travel was stopped there were no flights nothing but akasha took the risk and you know they're here uh, and they actually have and as you can see in the image this is their first aircraft that's ready it's in uh, us and it will be coming to india i guess somewhere on june will be landing in india so yeah those guys are like going all out i mean that was the surprise entrant uh, nobody had even thought about but you know yeah. what um, i think uh, what people need to understand here why is somebody trying to start an airline 
when there is so much of an issue so firstly guys uh, you need to understand that uh, when covid hit us um, there are a lot of things that dropped like you know uh, rentals uh, the lease amount for the aircrafts you could buy an aircraft for a much lesser rate uh, the fuel was much cheaper uh, even the slots i heard was much 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 cheaper uh, mm -hmm. so that's when people want to actually start off operations and i think uh, akash has just hit it right there you know they got the right uh, mix of people i think they mm -hmm. got a, a group of people heading it we have aditya ghosh we have vinay dubey and uh, rakesh junjunwala also was a primary promoter and uh, guess what uh, in the dubai expo uh, aman they announced 72 aircraft 737 max wow so, and that too uh, five years aman how do you think about that this is a really good thing for the indian aviation in industry right now more aircraft just simply means more jobs absolutely that's it absolutely absolutely and uh, and and also a good chance see the uh, the fleet delivery of the akasha air with the predominant uh, you know the orange and the purple color mm -hmm. uh, is something very unique as well as uh, you're you saying uh, ready uh, we're talking about new aircraft ready for uh, you know delivery uh, which is crazy and uh, and also um, uh, 72 aircraft five years and that they are keeping a target of 18 aircraft by march 23 and uh, we are already in uh, june so yeah i mean like it is a definitely interesting to see how you know akasha can make its own space because as we know the market right now let's be honest indigo is having the major share of it indigo is there there's spice chairs there's go air you know everyone's in their own little battle It will be interesting to see how the other airlines will react to this. You know, Akasha coming up. I mean, Akasha is normally someone who is like heavy, heavy uh, player in the finance industry and everything. So he's come with a heavy backing for the capital, and he's got support like you know Aditya Ghosh. Let's be honest. That's the word that you know. It's kind of the reason why Indigo is what it is today. So, I mean, definitely interesting to see. um and also uh, i have also heard that you know with uh, the entire marketing uh, uh, recently it was all over their social media you could see uh, the social media team taking precedence here you know uh, with all the you know teasers coming in uh, and then yeah the first aircraft the victor tango yankee alpha alpha so they came up with the iata code uh, which was uh, quebec papa uh, qp mm -hmm. And that was pretty uh, again uh, very nicely thought of with the social media team and yeah. finally the so i think it's uh, very interesting and uh, something to add um, to what we already have uh, raman is i've heard that um, their recruitment started late september last year mm -hmm. uh, with the crew people which are talking about in terms of the crew and mm -hmm. uh, you know various department heads um, so they are ready to go i mean they have like full fledged i also heard they you know had good amount of pilots under the belt uh, under under the you know paying scheme cabin crew is ready uh, they're going to start more hiring oh that's a lot of information but uh, good good days ahead for the indian industry definitely definitely the sky is definitely look uh, you know they look better you know way more better than during covid so yeah but uh, uh one question for our people who you are uh, saying uh, and you know have been supporting us uh, what you, uh, what do you guys think about akasha coming in uh, leave your comments down uh, i think uh, we'll uh, we'll get uh, to know how they all feel about it and uh, how excited are you to maybe uh, join akasha anything else aman i think we've told two big news anything else that we need to share well uh, if one new airline was not enough there's uh, a returnee you know return there's a return you mean yep. return you mean yep. return yep i yep. see so there was some really really good airline there you go yep jet airways you know the you prime yep yep jet airways is back hard to believe but yep miracles do happen jet airways is back absolutely and uh, look at that uh, delivery back uh, in the indian market uh, to see the 737s you know again back um, and yeah that's the news uh, after uh, they shut down uh, in in few years ago uh, roughly i think april if i'm not wrong yeah um, yep. april 20 yep. as such somewhere there yep. yeah so they had the last flight and uh, Uh, fast forward now, uh, three years down the lane, uh, we are talking about Jet Airways 2.0. <laughs> who who had who had thought about? 
who had thought about it no one expected this everyone thought it was done game is over but you know what jetta just came back like you know and this actually this photo is actually from one of their proving flights you know that they happened recently in order to get yeah. the air operator certificate in hyderabad so yeah i mean like things are moving and they're moving quick and it was about three flights i i i understand yes, yeah, yeah. i also heard that uh, um they own about 5 to 7 aircraft after their you know uh, they cease operation so they got back their aircraft some of the aircraft were with spice which was good mm-hmm. about them to think that way so they always thought that jet airways will be back at the center mm-hmm. uh, for all the times. i think they had the initial crew still there the lot of crew still on roll mm-hmm. uh, who had not returned even after jet ceased but yes uh, it's about uh, you know getting things back in action we have our ceo sanjeev uh, kapoor there who's uh, you know uh, heading everything right from there and and a lot of things are happening with uh, uh, jet uh, the recruitments thing every day uh, on the social media linkedin they are putting up uh, their uh, uh, you know details about the recruitment there is a deputy manager you know chief chief of flight safety you name it and yeah. i think uh, regard i crew i think you're going to ask us when that's going to come out we are hoping it comes out soon because everything is just taking shape uh, it's yep. about time that get that also i think i think amon many people were asking us about this regarding whether we should do the training now whether we should do the type rate now uh, guys uh, there's lots happening in the market to be very honest okay yep. and uh, with also um, these new players coming in yes there is an opportunity but also we need to understand that there is little backlog also of pilots there and crew and you know other things so uh first things first you need to understand with aviation is patience <laughs> so that that is something you need to always uh, think about don't rush yeah. um many people are, have been asking us uh, whether we need to head for our cpl training uh, if that's your end goal guys it doesn't matter when what yes the patience will be there you might get it soon might get it later uh, but yeah one thing is for sure apparently our industry is one of the best in terms of their return post covid Uh, we are some say that we are ranked number 1 in terms of return to our normal pre covid days and some say we are two but whatever it is when top two in the world which speaks quite a lot and uh, also something about recruitment that i wanted to put forward here uh, that uh, with 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 very specific to pilot recruitment uh, we are also hearing that uh, there's a lot of movement happening from india to abroad so a lot of pilots moving to the gulf yeah uh, with some uh kwam is coming in fly dubai emirates qatar etihad and uh, companies like that so that's also happening there is a void created here as well but plus there are a lot of um uh, type rated pilots already there cpl pilots are already there so count your move for, what do you say aman they need to be a little bit yeah I mean, def- definitely definitely when it comes to aviation so bachi said uh don't rush into stuff definitely don't rush into stuff just plan it out think about it and consult with anyone who is from that industry that uh, you know you may know or even just send us a comment we will be more than glad to help you know for any kind of advices about how you want to go ahead with your career what classes to do what subjects to study you know so whatever it is you know it has a lot of finance involved in it and it's not small amounts we're talking about so definitely plan it out i would say you know plan it out time it out and everything should be good Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think uh, Nango Whiskey and Quebec Papa have gate crashed. Uh, Aman and Shoaib has gate crashed. Back to mm-hmm. you, Are you guys ready for this uh, industry's, uh, uh, you know, right back and the wave that is coming in with the recruitment and so much positivity. Are you guys excited? Uh, let us know. And uh, if you guys uh, have liked this video so far, you know what you need to do. Uh, you need to just go hit the subscribe button, like the video, comment. Um, and uh, i think we've been uh, very um, approachable over our social media even though we haven't been on youtube we will do more videos uh, regular videos uh, in fact we are also thinking about doing content uh, uh, of uh, related to uh, technical uh, if you guys like it like you know any particular topics that you want us to help teach because uh, me and amon as uh, aviators we also teach uh, and uh, spread knowledge uh, also help people to you know come up with them uh with their problems in terms of exams and, and other things so let us know uh we'll be really happy to make such content uh, uh in the near future we are also planning to uh shoot in a video of aviation round up uh, once every month and am i right aman yep yep that's the plan uh, we just want to keep everyone in the loop of what's happening because you know a lot of things you know a lot of people say a lot of stuff but you know we'll get you the real unbiased stuff you know simple and straight that's it so we just hope you guys keep uh, watching our videos 
and just keep commenting down what you guys would like to see next and we'll definitely make a video on that uh thank you guys for tuning in uh, i think uh, we are in a new look a new attire we <laughs> have gate crack uh, but we are here to give you more content and uh, do support us uh, and uh, hope to see you soon take care and uh, we'll see you very soon with a new video bye bye